Hello everybody, I'm here today to show you how to make a basic blended photo mask. I've had several people ask me how how to make them so I thought I would show you some base, uh, the basic steps. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is start with my, my background paper. Um, I usually want to use something that has a little bit of texture, is a solid, just because I don't want a lot of the pattern in, in my picture, but I want it to have a little bit of texture. So I'm going to use my um, elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to make a circle. Um, I'm going to hold down shift, make an even circle there. Then what I'm going to do is go to select, modify, and feather. Um, and then you can um, pick your feather radius. I usually um, do somewhere between 150 and 200, 250 depending on how big I want the the feather, how big I want the fade to be. Um, so I'm just going to stick with 150 for today. I'm going to hit OK. That's going to feather that. You can't really see that until you, um, there you go. make a new layer, go to your paint bucket, and then just click. And there you have the start of your blended mask. So what I can do is I'll usually make it bigger from this point. I'll make it, kind of want it to cover the side of my page here. So then I'll take my photo and I'll drag it over here on top of my mask and then I'm just going to hit Control alt g and then I'm going to stretch my picture um, and you can kind of see if you like your mask, if you think it's a good size, if you think it needs to be, you can adjust it, you can even um, make it taller, wider, come in more, whatever you think you want to use. It shouldn't um, distort it, the picture at all, if you just play with the mask layer. Um, and then what I like to do, I like to go and look at my actual pixels and just see kind of what it might look like close up. So you can see, if you have to stretch your photo, you can kind of see what it might look like when you print it. Um, and then to blend your photo, to make it even look um, a little bit more blended into the paper, you can use different uh, layer styles. Um, or different blending mode, sorry. So you're going to click on the layer of the mask and then you can kind of scroll through these and see you know which one you think you might like. Um, you can zoom in or you can, sorry, uh, just kind of go through them and see which one you like the best. Um, let's see. So like if I like that one and it's, but it's a little too bright I can always bring it down a little bit, the opacity down a little bit. Um, and there you go. So that's a basic way to make your own blended mask.